Welcome back to another video. We get autographs TTM through the mail. We've got another TTM video to get to today. One of them, the uh, mailman had some fun with that one. And the other one looks like it floated downstream to our uh, mailbox. We'll put that somewhere in the middle. Hopefully the cards are okay. This first one's coming from Buffalo, New York. Don't get too many from Buffalo. That's for certain. And what is this one? Oh, it's stuck. It is stuck there. Weeks. Carlos Garcia looks like the uh, top part of that Topps Gallery. That plastic coating's coming off there. He's got some great cards. And you got to prep them. A lot of these mid-90s cards were glossy, like this 93 Upper Deck Select. And this Donruss. Pretty sweet. Carlos Garcia. Rated rookie there on the Donruss, 92. He was an up-and-coming rookie. Smooth feeling second baseman. Allowed the Pirates to get rid of one Jose Lean, who was another great fielding second baseman. Pirates had some great second basemen there in a row. Johnny Ray, Jose Lean, Carlos Garcia. Not a bad threesome there. It's been out about a month, 55 years old. And 10 seasons, 90 to 99. First seven with the Pirates. And uh, All-Star in 94 with the Buccos. Became a long-time coach after his playing days. May still be coaching somewhere. Manager as high as Double A, Altoona, in the Buccos system. And uh, last time I heard he was in the Mexican League. Don't know if he's still there or not. 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. 35 days, no fee. Carlos Garcia, Buffalo, New York. Spokane, Washington, up next. Don't get too many from Spokane either. Who could this be? John Fry's guys. John Freeze, two of two. Pretty cool. Collector's Choice and that old Skybox Impact. Looks like the Fleer 95. Ugly cards, but really good for autographs. Make a good photo. Fry's guys, 56 year old quarterback, 11 seasons from 90 to 2000 for four teams. And really great college career. Two time 1AA All American in Idaho. He was a vandal. Elected to the College Football Hall of Fame. you got to be an All-American to be in the College Football Hall of Fame. And he was elected there. Threw for about 9,000 yards and 45 touchdowns in the pros. That's been out about a month. 25 days, no fee. 25 days, no fee. John Freeze. Uh, Indianapolis, Indiana. Indy, Indy. Indy, Indy. There's Paul Flatley. Sent him two. Getting, he's been shaky for about, <laughs> about a year. Look at that. Worked hard on that index card. We appreciate the effort there. Rookie of the year in 63. He gives you the whole story right there. Vikings 63 to 67. Falcons 68 to 70. And these two 70 cards are with the Falcons. Pretty decent wide receiver. 82 years old now. Eight seasons, as he says. And Pro Bowl in 66. And pretty cool in the Indy. Paul Flatley, seven days. He's always a quick return. Seven days, no fee. Paul Flatley, Pro Bowl wide receiver. St. Paul, Minnesota. St. Paul, Minnesota. Gary Lucas. Three of three on the Gary Lucas. 82 Donners, 82 Fleer, and 83 Fleer. Like that old Padres logo back then. <laughs> That's pretty cool, Gary Lucas. We've gotten him before. 68-year-old left-handed pitcher. Eight seasons, 80 to 87. First years with the Padres, then Expos, then Angels. And uh, like Garcia, he's a longtime man at, uh, minor league coach after his playing days. Nine days, no fee, Gary Lucas. Going Moving right along, here's the wet one. <laughs> Orlando, Florida. Oh, messed up there. Hopefully the cards made it. Floor to flow ride. I get a little wet this week or what? They raining? There's Randy Jackson on his rookie card. That's a no for me, dog. If you know, you know. Looks like the cards are in pretty decent shape. As wet as that envelope was. Now this is the other Randy Jackson. Offensive tackle for the Bears. His entire career, 67 to 74. He's 79 years old now. Just put both of these together. That's his rookie card, 73 tops. University of Florida legend. Athletic Hall of Famer there. Two weeks, no fee for Randy Jackson. 13 days, sorry about that. 13 days, no fee. Renda Jackson. 
Oh, let me tell you about Randy. St. Louis, Missouri up next. St. Louis Mo. There's Kellen Winslow, the 81 Tops rookie card. Great signature, very consistent. 10 bucks of pop. Kellen Winslow, Hall of Fame 95. Very great signature. Great tight end. One of the best ever, that's for certain. He's on the 75th NFL all time anniversary team, and he's on the 100th anniversary all time team, as well as being on the 1980s all decade team. We love looking at those all-decade teams just searching for Hall of Famers. Who's next? Who's next? Look at those teams and see who might not already be inducted. And that's who you want to focus on. Five times in the Pro Bowl, led the NFL in receptions two times as a tight end. Back in the Air Coriel days. College Hall of Fame for his time at Missouri. He was a Hall of Famer. I mean, he's an All-American. He's in the Chargers Hall of Fame, and as he says, Pro Football Hall of Fame 1995. Two weeks, 12 days, $10 fee. 12 days, $10 fee. North Texas, Dallas, Texas. Up next, North Texas, no hard card. Leroy Jordan. Hey, here's a guy. Talk about Hall of Famers. He should be in the Hall of Fame himself. And a great resume, that's for sure. 82 years old. He played little linebacker. 14 seasons, 63 to 76. Super Bowl ring and Super Bowl six. Five times in the Pro Bowl. For Leroy Jordan, I've always liked that card, that 73 tops. I knew it was going to be a tough deal there with a the blue uniform, but Leroy's got a great signature. In his career, 1,236 tackles. You look at 1,000 tackles, you've had a great career. He had 1,236, 32 interceptions as a middle linebacker. He's in the Cowboys' ring of honor and uh, two-time All-American at Alabama. Oh, let me tell you about Alabama. He's a big one. He's a Halls. College Football Hall of Famer, 1983. Got a good resume for the football. Pro Football Hall of Fame as well. Bear Bryant called him the finest football player the world has ever seen. That's pretty high cotton right there. That's another 12 days, too. 12 days, no fee. Saw someone give, send him a fee, send him five bucks, but I, I haven't sent him a fee yet. Having good success with Leroy, but don't want to short him. I don't know he requires a fee. None of my pages that I use say that. But anyway, let's go to the last one. 12 days, no fee. Really, Roy Jordan? Last one, Tampa, St. Pete, Florida, Florida. We love the Florida, Florida. And here's a Florida for the one subscriber who wants me to say Florida. Doesn't get the joke. Kevin House. There he is on the leader's card. Led the team to receiving, 769. That's a strike year. 85 tops. That looks pretty sweet with a Tito uh, Fuentes headband. And the 84 tops as well. Two iconic football sets, 84 and 85. Plus that 86 green border, too. Pretty sweet. 65 years old. Here's a guy who was underrated throughout the course of his career. Eight seasons. First seven with the Buccaneers. Last one with the Rams. Just under 300 receptions. I think he had 299 for his career, unfortunately. But 5,200 yards and 34 touchdowns. Productive. Every catch he had. Opened a hair salon after his playing days, if you can believe that. Exactly one week. Quick return from Kevin House. Seven days, no fee. That is it. What'd you think, everyone? John Freeze getting a little blowback there. Hey! Got Randy Jackson's rookie. Any Hall of Famers? Yes. Kellen Winslow and several college football Hall of Famers in this particular go-round. We try to do this twice a week with TTMs. We have one on Monday, and I'll leave a link to that one right there. But if you haven't subscribed yet, check out my channel. We send out a bunch of TTMs every year, and we'll try to do at least two videos a week. If we're backed up, we'll do, we'll do three or four. Who cares? we got to get rid of these. So, uh, But we've been having good success doing them on Mondays and Thursdays. Friday is a big mail day video, typically. And Wednesdays, we like to do something fun. So Make sure you subscribe and then click that bell. That way you'll be notified anytime I post a future video. Thanks for being with me today. We will see you soon.